April 2012. I left home to find a new home in search of a place where I could explore and shape my identity, discover and groom new passions. But above all, I was looking for something else. Something which only your home can give you, something without which survival is impossible. Luckily, I found it. Rishte sirf khun ke nahi hote, parivar dilo mein bante hain, kaagazon pe nahi. Dune gives you a family, a family of 700 which can peacefully coexist within 70 acres, or rather a family which sticks with you for a lifetime, much like the nickname this family gives you. The Bonda here remains the Bonda for the family everywhere. The Bablu here will be the Bablu everywhere. This family becomes the constant. There's nothing that makes you more insane, more happy, more exasperated, or more secure than a family. And that is exactly what the Dune School gives you. Continuing from what the headmaster said, I'm just noting down an observation, not advocating anything. Doscos know how to stand by each other, whatever the case might be, which strengthens the bond of this family. Imagine one distressed Dosco who has already had a fair share of the yellow card baggage. Gets caught yet again with a phone. Outside our world, you would feel sorry for him. Inside our world, it comes very naturally to his friends to console him, to fight his battle, to assure the housemasters that he will improve. And indeed, that does happen. So even after receiving that yellow card, the chest expands a few inches more. The friends are proud after coming to the rescue of a mate and a sense of satisfaction prevails. This satisfaction comes due to how tightly knit our community is. From Obroy to Tata, everyone knows and takes care of each other. We are one close group. We are one family. We are brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, but above all, we are all part of this small, enclosed paradise we call Dune. In a family, the elder sibling helps the younger one grow, passes on some of his qualities, and more often than not, does end up pulling the younger one's legs. This relation is clearly visible here at Dune. The seniors play the roles of mentors and guides for the juniors who are discovering themselves at Dune. Wherever it may be, there are always seniors who are entrusted by the senior authorities of the school in mentorship rules. These seniors become an integral part of the junior's life. Not to forget, the younger sibling is also crucial for the growth of the elder sibling in the family. He teaches the elder sibling to be patient while he learns to get up on his feet, to be compassionate when he falls, to be temperate when he gains the fair share of the parent's affection. Similar is the relation between the junior and senior at Dune. When the junior seeks help from his guide at the first day in school, to the junior pulling the senior's leg with the banjaiga jokes in the scoping season, to the junior and senior both sobbing when the sound of all lang syne swells in the rose bowl. The relationship cannot just be expressed in words. However, I would not be telling the truth if I miss out their quarrels, much like the rifts between siblings as to who is the better one, or who is loved more by mom and dad, or who shall get the TV remote. This one in particular, as I have many fond memories of it. But rifts do exist at Doom, which is inevitable. But the mutual understanding which we foster helps us arrive at solutions. And over the years I have spent here, I have seen the understanding and the relationship improve drastically. The siblings infuse a lovely flavor into the family, but without the parents, the essence of the family is missing. And luckily, this vital component is abundant at Dune. We might find brothers, elder or younger in fellow Doscos, but if we look around campus, we can find mother and father figures all around campus. The teacher-student relationship at Dune is such that it goes far beyond the classroom, where they'd be practicing plays with the teachers at 3 a.m. or attending their classes at 7, 7 a.m. on the same day. The teachers here are role models and inspire students to strive for success. 
Much like our parents, our teachers here do not only teach classes, but lessons in life. They share their experiences, including those late night parties, order pizzas quietly, and of course, hunt us down if assignments are not completed. To cap off these golden relationships, I will share a small incident, which I learned from a friend's parent. On a deformer's birthday, his parents gifted him some digital gadgets, which he loved and would definitely cherish. But this one SC former in school presented him with a four page long motivational letter. This letter motivated the junior to continue on despite the hardships which he faced in school. The junior and his parents alike were stirred by the emotions and efforts put in by the senior to bring this letter up. This showed that the relationship between the junior and senior at Doon is no less than that of siblings. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the sort of family Doon gives you. To quote Clara Ortega, to the outside world we all grow old, but not to brothers and sisters. We know each other as we always were. We know each other's hearts. We share private family jokes. We remember family feuds and secrets, family griefs and joys. We live outside the touch of time. This is our family. This is the Doon School. Thank you and happy holidays.